I'm Adrienne Moharic. Today, I've noticed that here in Cisco Live and in the DevNet Zone, that we have a ton of workshops, and they seem to be using this new learning lab that was different than all the previous years. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, so the learning labs got a makeover. Um, the learning labs in the sandbox were basically two separate entities, and now we've combined them into one so that you can learn to do these tutorials um, with a development environment in the browser. So it makes it so much easier to learn and so much more engaging for our developers. And then I noticed that in addition to just having that developer environment, you know, it has an actual IDE, it has the container to spin up in the terminal. Yes. And so what are that what is that benefit? Like I remember before you have to right. install. So you don't have to install um, uh, you know, Git or Docker or set up your environment and variables um, on your computer anymore. It's all in the browser um, and you can click to copy the code directly into the terminal that's in the browser so you don't even have to bring up your own terminal. Um, and there's also a file management system so you can create new Python files, create new scripts and then run those, those Python scripts. So it's really nice to have it all in one window um, so you're not uh, going out to a separate window, opening up a yep. separate tab to, uh, to reserve a sandbox environment. Yeah. So it, it makes it so much easier and so much cleaner. Um, not all of the learning labs are interactive and have that built-in feature, mm -hmm. um, but uh, a, a, the, you know, a good majority of them are, and we're working to, to build it out so that more learning labs have that interactive environment. So as soon as you go to the learning lab, it'll ask you to log in, and once you log in, it spins up. Okay. Um, so it's really within a matter of seconds. And so you can see it spinning up. Um, there's a little loading spinner um, that you'll see um, in the IDD, IDE, in the terminal, and you're ready to go. And what makes it so nice to use is the, the, the code snippets that are in the tutorial, there's a little arrow next yep. to it. And you click on the arrow and it copies the code directly for you. So you don't have to worry about making typos uh, mm -hmm. in the terminal and trying to figure out why it's not running. You literally click a button and it will copy the code over for you to run. Yep. It sounds great to be able to allow people to make a lot easier for them to learn. And you know, and we're always about learning. Yes. Definitely. And I have to say, um, for those who are new to developing, have never coded before, never used a REST API, I highly recommend that they do the uh, coding and APIs learning track. And the learning track um, assumes you know nothing. And it starts That's from great. the very basic. And it explains what is a REST API. And, um, and it'll take you to the end to actually you know, making your first uh, REST API call. So I highly recommend that learning track. And so track. they're able to do all of that within this new environment? Yes, yes, and it's, it's all interactive. And the navigation has been updated as well. Mm -hmm. um, so the, it's easier to go from one learning lab to another learning lab. It's easier to see which learning labs are part of which learning module and which learning module are part of which learning track. So the navigation is easier as well. And we've kept um, the progress tracker. So if you need to run out, um, it's okay. You log out, it saves your progress, okay. and you can come back at any time and, and start where you left off. That sounds awesome because I'm sure somebody doesn't want to just sit there for hours and hours at a time because that's definitely not how we learn, especially if you're learning something new. So yes. it's nice that you can do things in a smaller piece and be able to, you know, maybe all you want to do is the learning piece of it or maybe all you want to do is the hands-on piece of it, but just break it down in right. bits and pieces. So, I mean, that sounds great. And, you know, I'm glad that we are refreshing all of this and giving everybody a better learning experience. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can convert a lot more of these as we're going along. Yeah. Um, I know, like, I have done a couple of them, and I find that as just a great experience. I just gave a workshop not too long ago, and we used that, and everybody had great feedback on that. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I know that some of our workshops are actually using the learning labs. Mm -hmm. So if you're unable to attend Cisco Live in person, I know workshops three and four, you can do them at home, online, mm -hmm. um, in the learning labs. Yep. 
so it, it, it's a great experience for everyone. It is. So where can people actually go to these new learning labs? What's the URL that they should be going to? So please go to developer.cisco.com slash learning for all of the learning materials. Um, and if you're new to coding or new to APIs, I highly recommend you check out the learning track called Coding and APIs. Thank you. Thank you, Denise.